Because I would say the Kaylee, the, the, the question I get the most as a leader is uh, how do I kind of get to the next level? How do I get promoted? It, it, you know, I'm sure every leader out there can kind of resonate with that. Um, and and it's a it's a totally fair question. I've had the same question of to, to my bosses back in the past. But I would say there are three things that you have to do. Number one is you have to crush your goals consistently and over a pretty long period of time. Meaning if everyone can have a good quarter, but if you didn't have a shitty quarter afterwards, it doesn't really inspire confidence. So 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 if you have like three or four good quarters suddenly where you're crushing your goals, that's a really good sign. But what is how do you how do you get there? Well number one is you have to uh, be clear on what your goals are in the first place, which comes back to, again, a thing I talk about a lot, a lot and write about clarity. You have to have clarity of what it is that you're trying to achieve. How are you going to be measured at the end of the quarter, Kaylee, or at the end of the year and so on? So that's number one. Number two is you have to act as if you're at the next level. So if you're a senior manager and you want to get to promoted to a director or director to a VP, start modeling your behavior as if you're already at the level, even if you don't have the title, like understand sometimes like, wow, what do I need to do to get it? But if you're, if you model yourself after people who have that title, they t usually take on more responsibility. They work more collaboratively across functions. There are certain behaviors that they have, you know, that, that you could probably look up to and learn from and so on, but act as if you're at the next level. That's number two. And number three, which I think is probably maybe the, the one that gets neglected the most is, you got to have a chorus of support around you and because I can guarantee in every single job I've had, when it comes time to get somebody promoted, you, you, it's not a decision I make in isolation or just by myself. I usually sit with a group of peers and we say, so is, is Joe ready to get promoted? And I can always tell how the direction is going to go based on the responses of other people. They, ah, who's Joe again? What, what did you do? Or... Uh, Joe, he's the one who's a little hard to work with. He produces good results, but he's not hes not the easiest to work with or whatever. Oh, okay, what about Kaylee? Oh, Kaylee, she's awesome. Everyone loves working with Kaylee. She goes above and beyond. Everybody wants her on her team. She brings the dynamicism and a energy to the office every single day. I can always tell which direction that kind of conversation go. And it's not to say you should go out and try to like game the system or be political, but it means... What are you doing to lift everybody else around you? How are you bringing an energy and an insight and a helpfulness and a collaborative mind spirit and mindset to, to work every day that lifts people up around you? I think that's super, super important. And, and so, because I would say when, when I'm coaching people, 90% of the time, it's probably more around their soft skills and the way that they're maybe showing up or how they're communicating or what they're saying or how people are perceiving them versus honestly their hard skills. Yes, there are sometimes their hard skills you have to kind of get better at and so on, but honestly, it's very rare. I mean, most people take their jobs and their vocation fairly seriously. Most of the time, by far, it's the soft skills. And that comes back into those kind of buckets of, are you somebody that people want to work with? I mean, it sounds maybe trite and it's hard to measure. I totally get it. So it's not an easy thing, right? Because we live in a very data-driven world, but it's true. It's just true. If, if, if you don't if you don't succeed in that last one it's very hard to ever get to the next level